Hi. Hello guys, and today in this video we will be um making or I'll be teaching you how to make a Gorilla Tag Blender profile similar to the this one. Hold on, like if you want don't mind the name of it. If you want something like this, I'll be teaching you how to make it today. Alright. So what you need first is Blender. You need the the versions 3.6 or above. So 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, or 4, it doesn't matter. Just 3.6 or above is fine. So, first, oh, I should close that. First, two, we need to open up Blender, or get what the gorilla we will be using. So, we're going to go into Discord, and then there's this guy. He, it's not my rig, but I like to use it, so... I'll link his YouTube channel or Discord in the description, but his name is Monty. He's a really good at Blender and stuff. So this is his Discord server, Monty's Blender server. So if when we do this, you cannot send it to anywhere else or he's going to find you. But anyways, so once you're in the server, you're going to go to Drive and Folders. Folders. I have another monitor, hold on. Ugh. Alright, here we go. So, we're gonna open up Monty's rig. So, we have some stuff right here, but to find the rig, we gotta go to rigs, obviously. And then we're gonna go to Gorilla Tag Rigs, and then the rig I'll be using is the Monty Rig V2. So, when you have the Monty Rig, you have to download it, obviously, and then. So, with this rig, you're gonna have to, like, extract this. So, to extract it, I'm not going to download it, but, like, right here, you need to get that alone. So, in this, oh, shoot, hold on. I might have to download it again, which I really don't want to do. Okay, I'm just going to download it again. Hold on. Um, download it again. So, Monty Rig V2, download it. It's scanning for viruses. You can, it can't scan for viruses because the thing is too big. 30 megabytes. But download it. It's not a virus. Don't worry. If it was a virus, I wouldn't be making this video. If it was a virus, I mean, I would, wouldn't be making this video. Now we have it downloaded. So we're going to open up our file explorer or whatever you use to download it or stuff. So you're going to take this. You're going to take it. Left click. And then press extract all. And then it's going to take not long to extract it. So now it's extracted. And then now you can open it up. Because if you don't extract it, the faces will be pink. And this is the one where you can move the eyes, change the mouth, and stuff like that. So I'm going to move this down because I cannot deal with it all the way up here. All right. So, so, you, so you see what, what happened to the textures. So to get the textures go up here and then do this one shows the light and if you don't want the light click on this one and there'll be no light but you see here this one when you move the camera it like moves the thing so if you don't want that this is the rendering output so we got to go to render the render engine right now it cycles I do EV if you change it to EV it won't move and now you see this little white gloss on the edge. If you want that, you could keep it. If you want to change it, you have to click on it, go down to the color, click on fur, scroll down, and then click forensic color. And like you could change the color. See, it's green now because it's green. But if you don't want it, you have to change it to black. And now there's no more, as you can see. So now we have it. So if you press F12 or go up here. And press render image or F12. It'll show you what the camera looks like. So this is a camera right here. It's already placed. You can change how it looks. But I like keeping it in this position. So this is how it would look if we rendered the image. So now you could decide to keep the name or not. I'll, I'll just change it to. So press tab to type. So tab on your keyboard. So I'm just going to type tutorial. And if you want it to like be the actual thing, you're gonna ha and to exit out of it, press tab again. And I'm just changing it to tutorial because this is a tutorial. So now 
we have our little monkey. But like, as you see, how did I move the eyes or the mouth? That's this little control panel right here, and this is the rig. Now, to like move arms and stuff, you're going to have to go into pose mode. So to get to pose mode, you're going to go up here. You have to be clicking on the rig, and then go up, up to object mode, and you'll see edit mode and pose mode. You want to go to pose mode. So now you're in pose mode, right? So now, if you want to move, you have your little toolbox right here. So now, okay, this is broken. Hold on. There. I don't know why, but if I click this, it just works. So you can move this up to change the eye right there. It changes the eye, which is pretty cool, but I'm going to use the normal eye. And this is just the same thing. Same eyes. So you have to, if you want the same eyes or different eyes, just move that. And this over here, this right here changes the mouth. So as you can see, the mouth is changing. You have a lot of options. And then over here, we got some stuff. So this makes the monkey invisible or visible. This changes the eyes to like black or something like that. It looks weird. I, don't, I know. And then this, uh, this makes the thing black, which is cool if you want it. And then this, I don't know what it does, honestly. I haven't quite figured that out. But this, I think, is the blush. Yeah, it makes your little monkey blush. And then this, if you want a lava monkey... Just move it to Lava Monkey. You have to move it all the way if you want the actual Lava Monkey, though. Alright, and up here, you have this. Uh, this changes which way the eye, eye moves, and this. You can't click on it. But there's some stuff over here, too. So we have these little eyebrows. So, look, if you want to move the head up, you can do just that. And you can do the same thing with the other one. It just moves the head up like that. It's weird. And then this. This, um, it's only up and down. Wait, wait, hold up. This, it's down only. This, like, if you want the monkey to blink, then you can do just that. So you can click on that, move it down. You can have it eyes closed, or that. Now, if you want the mouth, you can move the mouth up or down. Pretty cool feature. I like it just in the middle. And then we have these little eyebrows right here. You can move the eye up or down, too. Just like the one, but this one goes up only. This one only goes up, so we do that. Now he just has no eyes. And then we have this. We can move the eye whichever way we want. But if you want to move the eye together, you click on this little circle that looks like a VR headset. And it moves the eyes together. And now... That's everything. Now, if you want to move the arms, you, you, I click on this little hands right here. It's a rig, and then you can move it up or down. Do the same thing with rotate. Now, if you want to add cosmetics, then I, I'm leaving a link in the description down to where the cosmetics thing is. And then also... There will also be textures that come with it, too. And this, these are from, uh, never mind. So you're going to go to File, Import, FBX, go to Downloads, and then I'm just going to full screen this, since I don't know why it's so small for me. I'm going to search up Cosmetics. Hope I spelled it wrong. I'm just going to search up COS. And then Cosmetics, this is run right here. This is mine, but there's a different one you guys have so you're gonna see holdables head faces and badges if you want a hat I'm just gonna get mm, we'll see which one I'll do I'll do hmm I'll do a beanie so I'm just gonna search up palm palm which are the beanie we'll give it the pattern one and now I'll wait for it to load in. The beanie has now spawned it. And it's rotated. So you're just going to go in the rotate tool and rotate it however you want. And yeah. Now we're just going to have to put the hat down on the monkey. Uh, I see it rotated a little more good. There. Now the hat is on the gorilla or monkey. So now it's saying, oh, it's pink and there's black lines all over it. 
well, you're going to have to go click on it where you could go to the color and where it's base color, where it says where you see base color, click on it and go to image texture. This way you could change the texture of it. So now this is like the, the texture right now. It's just pink, diffuse color, underscore texture. Now you're going to go X out of that. Open. Go to the downloads and all, all the textures will come with the cosmetics. But if we go down, this is the texture. So now you say, oh, you have we have the texture. Sweet. But what are all these black lines? Well, it just happens. And you see it's a little blurry too. We'll fix that. So you have to have it selected. Go into edit mode. And then don't click anything. Just do shift in or shift in, which will recalculate the normals. And then go back into object mode and it's fixed. But then you see, oh, it's all blurry and stuff. Well, you're going to go on here, go to linear, click closest, and now it's more clear. You can see the difference. Linear, closest. It's way better. So now you we have it. And now this is basically all you have. But if you want to do the image, so you're going to click F12 or go up here to render image. Same thing, doesn't matter. So now, if you want to save the image, or I usually put it as a PNG so there's no background, so you don't have to like get rid of it or do like remove the background. So go down here to output and then scroll down till you see this. It, sh it probably will say FFMPEG video. Go click on it, change it to PNG. Now the color, it says BW, RGB, or RGBA, change it to RGBA, that way there will be no background. So now, you could go render the image. So, render the image, you're going to click on it, wait for it to load, click on image, and then do save as. I'm just going to change this to tut PFP, or pro tutorial profile picture. So now we're going to save this, and then I... I usually use Photoshop, or not Photoshop, Photopia, since I'm not buying photo. So we're just going to search up photopia.com. Okay, don't mind this. You're going to click on it, and new project, and then you're going to go to YouTube profile. Once you're in, you're going to press open, or control O, and then you're going to find what you just made. So I'm just going to find it. PFP, and now this is it. See, there's no background, nothing. So now we have this. So now I will. You can find any background you want, but the background I'm gonna be using is this one. So I'm gonna do Control Place. We're gonna go scroll down. Um, so I don't mind this. So this is the background I'll be using. You can find your own background. Or you could find someone who has this background and have them send it to you. Now, this is your background and stuff. So, you're saying, like, for me, it's blue. So, if you, like, have this background or a similar, you're going to want to change the hue, the H U E. So, you're going to click on image, adjustments, and then go to hue slash saturation. And then scrolling this will change the color. So, I'm going to look for red. Here we go. So now this is my image. But then, uh, it's looking cool, but we're going to double click. You're going to, oh shoot. So you're going to left click and click blending options. Or you could just double click like right there. So you're going to click on stroke. And now there's a stroke. So I'm going to change it to 15. This is all optional if you don't, you could, this is what I do. But if you don't want this, that's fine. So now we have a stroke. If you don't want a stroke, don't do this. And then let's say I want to add some cooler stuff. So we're gonna go here, go to drop shadow, and we're gonna change it to whatever color you want. But for now, I'm just gonna do red. So now, if we get rid of this, look, we have a little glowing red over there. But I think we want more. So we're gonna, oh, see, so just hide the background real quick. We're gonna go drop shadow, click continuous, and we're just gonna change the size and the distance. And if we change the spread, it will make it like that, but we don't want that. So just change the spread down to zero. So now we have this. And 
Here at this point, my dad came in, so I'm just not going to talk from throughout the video, but there's not a lot left, so yeah.